Hey, it's the most official card deal in Nordia, it was a crazy chair. Silicon jackpot, 25p, 50p per play. 70% payout on this video today, I'm going to show you how you go all the way on the demo mode. And it's all like, go for the mega super sound. Sounds like a blind new building future. The trouble is, very few builders have any experience of putting these technologies together. Any builder I know who works with Lyman thinks of using it outdoors. Is that one? So when you know it's going to get all of the, uh, the live creek laid here. Well, the, the schedule that uh, Gary's drawn up for us gives, gives us process a week. The thing about this stuff is that we've got Lyman. One thing is immediate. The line creek won't be laid in a week. In fact, after three weeks, the builders are still only halfway through. The extra labour is adding to the cost, and the slow progress means they're now up against the builder. All wet building materials must be protected from the frost of the breeze, it's hands, they crack and they powder away. Cement and concrete need about two days to thoroughly harden, but this stuff, this is an cream. This needs three weeks. How do you protect that from the frost? Right, nice no, comfort to be gone. Five weeks into laying the slab, that Welsh winter catches up. Oh, the temperature is oh, minus six during one of the worst periods of weather. And it's just too much for the slabs to take. It's degraded a little bit because we sustained a uh, cold snap and uh, it, it, a few days ago it turned to porridge. It, it really did look like porridge. And when we first approached Catherine with the idea, she said, this is materials like this, and I hope you are This is. You can't do a real mode, uh, mind. Bottle and dog for us. It's chocolate, it's something that you've got to I know. This, this isn't good. Andrew is insulating the slab to try and limit the damage. And being a farmer's son, he's decided to use straw bales from his dad's farm. If this slab breaks up anymore, the whole thing will need to be dug up and laid all over again. We didn't realize it was so uh, delicate material. You know, you think you've got, the material's gone off and you can walk on it and everything. But it's still very, very delicate. Very delicate. This isn't the only lime based material Andrew and Lowry are planning to use. In response to their brief and a clean, crisp finish, Catherine is keen on a new lime plaster for the walls. And is also considering whether the lime creek slab can be polished as a finished floor. This is a screed um, that we haven't done very much with, but what we were looking to do once it was cut by computer hard was polish it. And if you, you can see it here in this example, you can see that by polishing it, the colours of the aggregates are beginning to come out. Um, Secondly, what we want to do in the hallway on the stairs, which is lit from above, is to use this sort of glass line putty. To use this as a plaster finish in the walls, so it would be quite dramatic down the staircase. It would be That's right. Out. Now the last one for the big one. These lime products are very eco-friendly. But since the slab cost Andrew and Mary £15,000 more than budgeted, they just can't bring themselves to share Catherine's faith in these adventurous new finishes. Catherine is still one of the sweetest of the uh, a black big lining cover to this house is, is the way to do it. And I suppose uh, environmentally, yes, it's it's just an argument that it costs a lot of money. It's something that we want to 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 work on, but it will be the bill. And it's just more much more expensive than we thought. And you've got to be pragmatic. I mean, what is the point in in putting up a building that you can't afford to to maintain it? Don't keep on, Dad. I mean, it's, it's, it's such a stupid idea. It doesn't really bear thinking about. And we're gonna have to. Uh, not 
to try and reassure Andrew and Lurie that these new materials <coughs> look great and won't cost you. Uh, Catherine takes them to the manufacturer to see some samples first hand. I like it. You know, with a, with a polish on it or something, so to bring out the evidence, it would be absolutely fantastic. I'd love to see a polish door, to be fair. It hasn't got the right factor, though, has it? I mean, we've been talking about black chlorine at the moment and white chlorine, and, and this is just not the right factor that we want to be for, really. That would be an internal plaster finish. Yeah. Um, and this is one with a fairly fine blue gloss. It's not that I expected it to be, actually. I did expect it to be something a bit more. I like to see what I'm buying. And I, I can see what I'm buying today, but it's not the finished product and it hasn't been tried and tested. But we still have an answer question, and I'm not prepared to gamble. The initial stages of the build have all been financially, and we've really got a little flow things back. And I mean, it's no secret that these line products are expensive products. We've got to work through the budget, Catherine. It's been there from the start. It's, it's already been a part. We've got, we're looking at it, so I'm going to be honest. I think it's like to not go with some of these more special things that will give uh, the adults an extra special, je ne sais quoi. It will be shame. I can see uh, that it could have been just that. Extra special, bit special. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes your clients might not be able to see quite what you see. Of course, as well as an environmentally friendly house, Lowry was always going to look at this something straightforward, not too flash and not too esoteric, certainly not expensive. So, who killed the end? I saw it. The architecture has kind of varied all of these materials and experimented and grew into the technology. What do you want? Do you want to ask them what they're responsible? Yeah, responsible, environmentally responsible. Light and airy family home, affordable family home. That's what I want. And the architect, it seems to me you've got something. Yeah. Oh, wow. I think the architect is a, is a bit too evangelical. Uh, I'll answer it for you. Yeah. Don't you keep on it too long, guys. Uh, yeah. That's funny, again. Yeah. 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 Yeah.